Hey, good morning to you. I, I get really excited on these days because I know I have to bring my appetite. We've got a lot of eating to do. Uh, joined by Jane Yon. She is the GM here over at Sunbury Cafe, uh, Sun Sunbury Restaurant and Bar yeah. <laughs> this morning. Thank you for joining us. Hi, guys. <laughs> so we are excited to dig in. Tell us uh, what we have here this morning, Jane. Okay, so I have a couple of appetizers. Um, these are our most popular appetizers that we serve here. Um, the first one is the Korean pork tacos. Um, we use our uh, spicy pork and we put a little cucumber on there to cool down that spiciness. Mm -hmm. uh, the second thing we have here is the soy garlic fried chicken. And um, this sauce is amazing. It's just like a sweet, um, you know, garlicky sauce. We put a little bit of red pepper to give it a little bit of spice. And then the final thing we have here is the fire hot uh, Korean fried chicken. And we mm -hmm. use a gochujang like red base sauce. Mm -hmm. So it gives it that little fireness to it. Um, yeah, and these are our three most popular appetizers that awesome. we serve here. Awesome, so for people who love spicy food, which is myself, you guys know I love a good hot wing or anything spicy. Uh, there are a lot of options here for people who do crave that spice. Absolutely. I mean, that is Korean culture, spice. <laughs> All right. Now tell me a little bit about, you know, your backstory here. How long have you guys been here? So we've been here about 10 to 11 years now. Um, we've been here operating as a cafe and catering. Uh, just last December, we renovated and we changed it into a restaurant and bar. Mm -hmm. So um, it's, yeah, it's been quite a journey. Awesome, <laughs> awesome. What do you think keeps people coming back through the door in the past 10 years? Um, definitely the food. I mean, my dad is behind um, the magic and he is just uh, an amazing cook. So um, for sure the food, 100%. Um, and then secondly, I think it's the vibe, you know, the ambience, you know, we just offer something here in Hartford that you can't get anywhere else. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, so let's go ahead and dig in, guys. Um, I'm going to, I love a good taco too. Yeah. All right, please. one hand here. <laughs> Hopefully I won't make this too messy. Okay, here we go. Oh! <laughs> you got mm. it. I got mm. it. Mm. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> a little bit messy. Here, let me get you some napkins. Mm -hmm. How good is that? <laughs> really good, guys. Now, <laughs> we're going to catch up with um, Jane and her dad. All right. Hey guys, I'm really excited about this. Back with my buddy Jane this morning. And what are we making? So this is a hot pot that we serve here. Um, it's also called shabu shabu. Uh -huh. And um, this is what would come out for one set. Okay, mm -hmm. so there are different tiers of this, right? Yes, okay. um, so we have like a meat combo, we have a seafood combo, a vegetable combo. The one I have presented right now is the beef combo. Okay. Yep. So let's get to it. What do we do first? Okay. So, you know, we have the vegetables and the meat laid out. So you just have to grab whatever you like. Yep. Just yeah. Yep. There. Yep. You got it. It's been a minute since I've used chopsticks, y'all. Yeah. And this meat is pretty uh, thinly sliced, so it's going to cook pretty fast. Okay. I have some bok choy. Ooh, oh, flour. That's, That's okay. It's all good. It's all good. I got some uh, mushrooms here. Um, some kale, some cabbage, and you know, you could take little pieces and cook them, but I just like to put everything in there and just get it cooking, you know? Um, and then once you maybe let it sit for like one to two minutes, uh -huh. you can start dipping it in the sauce we have. Oh, okay. And the three sauces we have is the chili, the ponzu, and the sesame. Okay. And I'll recommend the vegetables with the ponzu sauce. I think it pairs fairly nicely together. Oh. And then with the sesame, I love the meat with it. I think it's just delicious. Okay. Yeah. Now, um, did you say you can pan? Can you explain how this works? So it, yeah. there's a, a device here that is heating up the broth. Yeah, so we have, we built uh, an induction oven into this table. So everything's electric. So if you feel the table, it's not hot at yeah. all. Um, and it just keeps, it's just located right below the soup. So it just keeps the soup hot. Okay, 
and that's great for people that have families. You don't have to worry about the baby's hands getting burned. It's only um, on this broth here. Okay, right. so how long do we let this cook, or is it almost ready to eat? It's almost ready to eat, actually. Okay. Um, so it's fairly cook, uh, cooked pretty quickly. So I'm going to put some on your plate if you want to try some with the sauce. Okay. Um, it also comes with uh, some noodles. So I don't know if you like noodles. Yeah. <laughs> um, but here's a couple. So I'm just going to pour some over for you. Okay. And then you can grab this and put it with dip the sauce. It in. Yeah, dip it in okay. whatever sauce you like. I like it with the sesame sauce. You this can try one? that one. Yep. Okay. Oh, this, uh, one. this one right okay. here. Yep. We're going in with the sesame sauce. Absolutely. Mm. How was that? Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Now, quickly, Jane, I um, want to shout out your dad. He is the magic behind all of this oh, great absolutely. stuff. Say hey, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> we have a couple of seconds. Just tell me quickly, he has a unique story about coming here to America and opening up this restaurant. Right. So my dad, uh, he started off in Korea, and that's where my brother and my education, he came to America to um, start work here. Uh, the only problem was my dad didn't really know English that well, so he really was able to communicate through food mm -hmm. and he's always loved to cook ever since he was a child. My grandma loves to cook so you know he really that was his upbringing so um, once he came to America you know that was just kind of like the way to go for yeah. him um, and he really excelled in it and um, he started off working in Manhattan and I don't know if you know about the 9-11 um, yeah. situation there but when he was working there um, he lost his job because mm -hmm. the whole 9-11 um, situation and after that he was like you know what I could open my own restaurant now yeah. so we started off in Brooklyn and then we kind of moved our way to Hartford Connecticut yeah. Yeah. and now here you guys are on Pratt Street thriving yeah, <laughs> and feeding absolutely. people uh, some excellent food thank you so much we're gonna finish digging into this I'm gonna try to put the rest of this in here <laughs> uh, back to you guys Hey, guys, can you hear this? Just hold on. Listen for it to Manerica. Do you hear the sizzle? Well, it, there was a, a bit more of a sizzle right before the break. We had to get it out here. Uh, so we are with another dish here, back with another dish, Jane. Now, what do we have this time? So this is the pork bibimbap, and this is one of our most popular dishes. It's a rice bowl with five different seasoned vegetables. comes with the meat of your choice, mm -hmm. and I like the, my egg a little runny, so it cooks okay. in that hot pot. Um, we have two different sauces. We have a spicy sauce, which is the most original, and then we have the teriyaki. Yes. Um, so I'm going to let you do the honors of okay. mixing it all together because that's the fun of it, right? Okay. <laughs> now, Jane knows I like the spice, so she brought out the spicy sauce. Okay. So sauce first. Sauce first. Okay. All right. And I'm going to do the mixing, and we're going to let Jane hold the mic here and just go at it? Yeah. No, all go right. at it. Oh. Yes. Ooh, oh, my gosh. That looks so good. Oh. Tiffany, you're doing a great job. This looks amazing. Bean sprouts in here? Yep. We Ooh. got some spinach, bean sprouts, uh, carrots, um, corn, zucchini, Ooh, okay. mushroom. Like, this looks delicious. Yeah, and our rice is actually mixed with a little bit of brown rice. So Ooh, okay. it got that fluffy white rice texture. Yeah. But it's, you know, got the health to it. Okay. You want to so do a bite in yeah, that? Yeah, we just like <laughs> scoop it up? Yeah, absolutely. Go okay. for it. All right, here we go, here we mm -hmm. go. Oh, I'm trying to get the, the bean sprout on there too, guys. Oh, no, I hear you. I want all of it, a little bit of everything. All right, here <laughs> we go. Mm-hmm. What do you think of that? Mm-hmm. All right. A plus, sprout. yes. <laughs> See, that's how you know the food is good, yeah. when it's quiet and you just hear mm-hmm mm -hmm. and people yep. smacking, yep. you know it's A1. <laughs> all right, so um, talking a little bit more about the restaurant here, right. you guys recently, underwent a renovation process. Yes, we did. Um, so we kind of functioned as a cafe and catering company for about 10 years. And then when COVID hit, you know, it took a big hit on a lot of businesses, including ours. So um, we were able to use the Heartlift grant that the city of Har Hartford was offering and renovate into a restaurant and bar and reinvent ourselves. So awesome. Yeah. And I bet, you know, having that new offering will bring more people, uh, more yeah. foot traffic in here. I mean, we opened on May 1st, believe it or not. Um, so it's been quite a ride so far and we are 
having a good time. Now, <laughs> yeah. speaking of good times, Matt was just doing that interview talking about the uh, Salsa Social here on Pratt Street, yeah. and they are located right here on Pratt Street. So if you're coming out here tonight to dance, you know you need to refuel. So maybe come pay them a visit. They also have drinks. Hydrate. Drink some water too, please. <laughs> but you guys will have drink specials too, right? Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, we have a little patio bar that we put out there. So um, it's for everyone. And come come by and dance. You know, it's always such a blast. It's always such a blast. I think it's today, uh, 5 o'clock to 8 o'clock. So, yeah, should be a good time. Awesome. Yeah. Okay, okay. Now, uh, what are some of your other more popular items on the menu? Um, so we do also do the ramen and we just got this ramen machine so it cooks oh. the noodles at this optimal temperature and it really affects the texture the chewiness of the ramen so um that will be coming up next awesome. right because <laughs> you don't want like mushy noodles no, right you don't want mushy noodles you want that you know that elasticity and that you know bounce with the noodles yeah. so we really try to focus on that texture okay yeah. And the broth is great, too. Yeah. yeah. All the components. Wonderful. All the components. We've loved everything we've had so far this morning. Now, speaking of ramen, we're going to get to the ramen in the 10 o'clock hour, and I'm sure it'll be delicious, just like everything else we've had so far. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. I can't wait to show you guys. All righty. Thank you, yeah. Jane. Thank you, guys. Guys, I can't wait to bring all of this back to the station to you. Hey, Sunshine, it is Foodie Friday, and we are hanging out at Sunbury Restaurant and Bar in downtown Hartford, right here on Pratt Street. It's going to be on and popping later. Now, speaking of uh, delicious dishes and things that are on and popping in this restaurant, we have ramen here. Earlier, you mentioned you guys have a special ramen machine, right? Yes. So the ramen machine cooks the noodles at an optimal temperature, and it really helps bring that bounce to the noodle and um, you're, you're going to see it today you know um, I have two ramens out here for you one is the pork tonkatsu which is our most original house ramen and then I also have the seafood ramen which is our second most popular ramen okay mm -hmm. so what's in the uh, pork one so the pork one it has some ground seasoned pork it has the shredded pork as well and the broth itself is like a chicken pork base um, okay. We have some ginger, pickled ginger, hydrated mushroom, some boiled egg, oh. and spinach to give it a little color. Nice, nice. Yep. It smells delicious. So it's what about fun. the seafood one? So the seafood one is, um, it has shrimp, mussels. Um, it has the basic same toppings. So all the ramens come with the same toppings. Um, and for this one, we put like a little spicy red paste on mm. it, as you see the little uh, spicy red oil on it. And it just gives it a little, little twist to it, a little Korean twist to it. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> so now we're going to try, we're going to dig into the first one here, the pork tonkatsu. Yeah. Ton tonkatsu. Tonkatsu, okay, yeah. okay. So here we go. I got to find the noodles. Oh, there they are. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. I don't know. I'm struggling. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm a little rusty with the chopsticks, but I'm, okay. I'm getting better. Okay, here we, we go. Yep. I think. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Yep, you gotta start right. That's the only way to eat. Okay. <laughs> All right. Seafood one. Mm -hmm. um, so while I'm trying to figure out, get better with my chopsticks here, guys, um, go ahead and let our audience know like your operating hours and how they can keep up with what you guys have going on. Yeah, so uh, we have a website that we're renovating right now, but you can uh, follow us on Instagram. It's Sunbury Hartford. And our hours for right now is Monday through Sunday. Um, we try to stay open Tuesday through Saturday. I mean, no, I'm sorry, Wednesday through Saturday mm -hmm. till 12 a.m. The kitchen oh, always closes late. at, yeah. Okay. But the kitchen always closes at nine. Okay. And then on Sunday, we close at eight. And on Monday and Tuesday, we try to close around 10. Gotcha. Yeah. All righty. And what about your social account? Uh, so we have a Facebook, we have an Instagram, and we have a website. And if you just follow Sunbury Harford, it might, uh, you'll, you'll be able to find us on Instagram. All righty. Yeah. So I'm going to try to just do this again. Yeah, go Gotta for it. Got to slurp it. Okay. Got to slurp it. All right. That's the only so, way to eat it. <laughs> from Hartford, downtown Pratt Street, this is Sunbury Restaurant and Bar. This is a wrap on Foodie Friday. Here we go for the slurping. Yep. Oh. <laughs> How was that? Good. Yeah. So good.